now i will install laravel and then breeze in order to install laravel i am going to my desktop first and in the desktop i will uh, install the laravel project so in order to install that here i am going to open the uh, terminal in this terminal i am going to set up the location as desktop so cd then i am going to press desktop so cd desktop now i am into my desktop location so after coming to my location here i will create a fresh laravel now so i am going to write the command for it so composer create then project then laravel laravel and then i am going to use the folder name for example admin panel laravel so now i am going to press enter you will see that a new folder comes in my desktop and its call name is admin panel laravel and the laravel has been installed successfully here i am now going to close it after installing it i will now run it in order to run this i am going to open my vs code and here i am going to add that folder from my desktop that is admin panel laravel and open it with my vs code editor and in the vs code editor now all the files come here here you see that there is a dot env file and here i will change something here you see that the db underscore uh, database name is laravel so here for my project i am going to call it admin panel laravel and here db password is root in my case but in your case it can be different okay so the application name is okay i am not going to change anything more here so what i will do i will just run the project now from the vs code i can run the project from the terminal i am going to open the terminal and opening the terminal here if you want you can also do the tux from here but i am not going to do that from there i am just going to do everything from my terminal of vs code editor so here i just write a uh, php artisan serve now enter you will see that a server is running now i am just going to copy that and in my web browser i am going to paste it you see that the new laravel installation is complete and a new interface comes here laravel which version is installed it is laravel version 10.15.0 in the bottom you will see that so this installation is successful now what i will do i will install breeze now in order to install the breeze you can easily go here or go to the documentation documentation of laravel you can search here go to the laravel documentation version 10 is selected here and then here you will see that there is a getting started here there is a starter kits i am going here and here it is saying that this is laravel breeze so for the multi authentication i will install breeze now here i will use the breeze and blade so click here you will see that all the steps are given here to install breeze so i am going to uh, use this step by step first one is this one composer require laravel breeze dev i am going to copy this and in my terminal this server is running is okay i am going to open another one here another terminal so here i am going to paste it composer require this one this code so enter you see that it is going to be installed yes the installation is done now i am going to follow the next step that is breeze and blade and here the first one i am going to copy from here this one control c and now here i am going to press control v and here enter you will see that the breeze will be installed now as blade format okay so it is going to be installed uh, now i am going to copy another one that is php artisan migrate so i am going to copy this and i will run this when the installation will be done so you see that the breeze is scaffolding installed successfully so it is done now i am going to migrate so php artisan migrate 
as there is no database in this name in my php my admin so it is asking me if it will create a database by this name or not so i am going to tell him yes you can create so i put here yes and then press enter so it is done now what is actually done i am going to check it okay so here i am going to check php my admin and here i am going to check okay here you see that admin panel laravel this one comes here this is my database that is just created now and here there is users table migration table and all other tables are given here so okay now i am going to do the next step the next step is you see they are telling here to use uh, to install the npm uh, install so i will install the node modules now so the command is npm install or alternately you can just press npm i npm install or if you want you can just write npm i that is also fine so just press enter the node modules will come you see that in the uh, here a node modules folder comes here so when i will install any package that package will be listed in the node modules so here there is another command that is npm run dev you can also test it here npm run dev they will create a new server for you but i already have created new server i already have uh, running a server on my web browser so i am not going to do that so i am just going uh, to press ctrl c and i am out from this so here i call the clear and this is uh, the terminal is fresh now now if i want to go in the home page and refresh it you will see that a login and register these two links come if i click on login you see that the bridge templates login page comes and if i click on the register you will see that the bridge templates uh, the sign up or registration form comes here that means the bridge is installed successfully